The 140th Supreme Convention of the Knights of Columbus wrapped up today in Nashville, Tennessee. Nearly 2,500 knights attended the first in-person Supreme Convention in three years. The event included mass awards and the annual report from Supreme Knight Patrick Kelly. Recently, we spoke with the Supreme Knight about the convention and some of the group's important initiatives. And joining us now is Patrick Kelly, Supreme Knight of the Knights of Columbus. Mr. Supreme Knight, great to see you. Um, this is the first in-person convention in a few years, and I know you're first as Supreme Knight. Um, can you tell us what it's like to be back and what have been some of the highlights? Well, you know, it's great to be back in person, and there's a tremendous amount of energy here with all of our members of the Knights of Columbus and their families. You know, it's been three years since we've we've met in person, so there's a tremendous amount of enthusiasm, and we just we enjoy being with one another. That's what that's what our faith is all about, and uh, and and that's what what we're about as Knights is being together. Yeah, and I understand there was um, an award ceremony where some of the knights were honored for their work in the community. Can you tell us more about that and um, the work that some of your brother knights are doing? Yeah, well, we give we give awards for for family of the year, and 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 we give a faith award, uh, a award on on life, on community, and so there's we we celebrate the accomplishments of the members of the knights. But you know, we focused a lot on this at this convention about the Eucharistic revival that's upcoming, and the fact that that we as knights are going to be partnering with our bishops and with our pastors, and really, really ramping up devotion to Christ in the Eucharist. So we've, we're focusing on that. We're also focusing on this tremendous opportunity presented to us in a post-row world, and, and we really need as knights to step up to be there for the vulnerable mother and her unborn child. We announced uh, a new program called ASAP, Aid and Support After Pregnancy. So our councils are really going to be partnering with pregnancy resource centers to give them the, the, the resources that they need to help women in need. And that is so fantastic. Um, I also understand that this was the first time the Blessed Michael McGivney Medal was awarded. Can you talk to us um, about the significance of this award, what the medal represents, and also who the recipient was? Yeah, so, so the medal represents, uh, and it's a, as you say, it's a new award, and it, we give it to a, to a chaplain within the Knights who's really been exemplary in the last year. Uh, and who's embodied the principles of Michael McGivney. This year, uh, it went to Father Keller, who was, who was a state chaplain in New Mexico. And he's just done tremendous work in terms of helping the poor and helping the underprivileged. And it really embodies uh, the principles that McGivney founded the order with, charity, unity, and fraternity. So it's a new award, but we really want to honor our priests because they are, they are a part of everything the Knights of Columbus do. So that's what the award is about. Yeah, that's so great. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us. We really appreciate it. We're grateful. Yes, thank you very much, Tracy. It was great to be with you.